And welcome back to TS Talk Sport. Just doing a preview ahead of our game against Southampton um, at St Mary's tomorrow in the FA Cup. Um, we've actually got a double header with Southampton, you know, playing them tomorrow and then playing them again on Tuesday evening. So it'll be interesting to see what sort of team we put out there tomorrow. Obviously, it's the FA Cup. We are the current FA Cup holders. So it definitely is a competition, you know, we want to take seriously and, you know, try to re re retain the cup. You know, one of the only positives of last season and potentially one of the only positives we can still bring out of this current um, campaign. Now, for me, I think no matter what side we put out there against Southampton, we should be able to get a result. Um, when they played us at the Emirates recently, um, they did relatively well. Um, you know, Theo Walcott getting on the score sheet, and he'll be a player that will want to try and cause us some problems. You know, you've, you've got him, you've got the likes of Danny Ings, um, who's, you know, a, a top quality player in my opinion. And I think the last time we played them there in the FA Cup um, was relatively a good performance. I think that might have been the time when World Cup was moving like a R9 Ronaldo. But, you know, um, it's a game that we need to go into it um, with the same sort of quality in terms of the performance-wise we've been playing of recently, um, ex barring the Crystal Palace game. And I think if we do that, you know, we get the result. Um, I do expect there to be some changes in the team. Um, you know, bearing in mind, obviously, we've got the Southampton again on Tuesday in the Prem. But overall, I still expect the side that we put out there to be a relatively um, good enough one to get a, a job done. And I think the result in this game will be 3-1 uh, to Arsenal. So getting into the starting eleven, in goal, going to stick with Matt Leno. Obviously, we have signed Matt Ryan, but... I don't even know if he's trained with the first team yet or anything. So it might be too much of a risk to chuck him in there yet. He's not really used to, you know, playing with those specific players. So I would stick with Burton Leno in goal. At right back, Cedric playing against his old club. He played well the other night and I would play him again in this game. I, I can't see that he would do any um, harm for us playing in this game. And hopefully he has another good performance down that right hand side. Um, the two centre-halves, I'd go with Gabriel and Louise. Bring Gabriel, Gabriel back. I think it's a good game to bring him back into now. Um, at a time, it didn't seem like we, we needed to rush to bring him back because of Pablo Mary. And then of recent, Holden and Louise have been playing well. But I'll chuck him back in for this game. Uh, Left-back, I'm going to stick with Kieran Tierney. Um, you know, we tried make the Niles there in one game. He had an absolutely shocking game. And for me... I don't want to see Saka play there, rather um, Saka probably has a bit of a, he's on the bench for this game and if anything we bring him off the bench if need be. Going in, into the midfield, um, the midfield two, I'm going to go with Xhaka and Tobias. I know people are saying, yeah, play party, he played well the other night, but you know, he's a man I'd have on the bench and if anything, bring him off the bench if need be. Um, more in mind, I want him to start against Southampton on Tuesday evening. Just in front of them, I'd go with... Um, Mr. Broccoli, William, hopefully this is a game which he can actually have some influence on in a positive mindset. He's got to do something now. He's got to show some level of quality or something that he can bring to the team. And hopefully that's something that he can do within this game. Off that right-hand side, Nicola Pepe, you know, at the beginning of the season, you know, he more or less lost his position based to William. And now the both of them can't get in that position because of Bukayo Saka. And he's got to do something to prove that, you know, he's he's capable enough of doing the job. I believe he is, but this is kind of like last chance saloon now for Nicola Pepe. If he's going to do anything, he needs to do it in this particular game. Off that left-hand side, I'm going to go with um, Gabriel Martinelli. Don't really need to say too much about him. Top quality um, player and, you know, one of the more potent attackers that we have. And then up top... I'm going to go with Eddie and Ketia. You know, he hasn't got much game time of recent. And I can see Arteta starting him in this game, hopefully with him having a point to prove. And, you know, he did score um, at St Mary's the last time he played Southampton in the Premier League, should I say. So hopefully that that's something that, you know, um, is on his mind. He's thinking, oh, you know, I've scored it before. Hopefully I can get a goal again here. So we will see in due time um, the situation. Hopefully I'm proved right and, you know, we get the um, the win and we're through to the next round. And, yeah, so let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, go hit that subscribe button now. 
and I'll catch you next time. Peace.